Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems with five more minutes on these digital radios. And again, I'm going to use the 578, but what I'm going to show you today applies to lots of radios. I have Alinko radios that are doing the same thing. I'm sure there will be others coming down the pike. So pay attention. This is going to make a difference. I have the 578 connected to the computer right this minute. And this computer is moderately fickle. It works with the 578 UV3 Plus. Okay, but if I plug in the older radio, this is the D578 UV Pro. Remember, these radios don't exist in Device Manager until they are all the way up and booted. And then they'll create the COM port. And it's all the way up and booted. It's plugged in. And now I have two of them. Let's give it a minute. See the one with the yellow caution sign? I cannot get that radio to work on this computer. These GD32 virtual COM port drivers are any tones drivers, just does not work on this computer. I had to change computers to get it to work. Now I'll turn this one off. That COM port goes away and this other one will work just fine. What's interesting is sometimes when I do get data from or send data to, the radio boots, goes off and back on. We'll simulate that here. Off, it's gone away, and back on. And it comes back up for me. But there are times that this will drop out on this computer. I have found that unplugging the cable which disconnects the radio, do not turn the radio off. And then plugging the cable back into the computer will often bring it back. So these radios can be just a little bit tricky. This GD32 virtual COM port, like I say, is AnyTone drivers. If you need to try those, rtsystems.us forward slash drivers. We have DMR drivers, AnyTone virtual comm driver, the GD virtual comm drivers. These are not our drivers. These are AnyTone's drivers. So we're just putting them out there where they're handy for you to find. Unzip it, run the right version of it, and see if it helps. It got me a little closer on this computer to being able to use it. But this radio is kind of interesting. If you don't install those drivers and you don't have to on your machine, if you have installed those GD32 virtual COM port drivers, the radio will show up with this designation. If you have not, it will show up with this designation. You'll know it's the right designation when you unplug the radio and it goes away. Both will work with the programmer. As I said before, it's when you get that yellow caution sign that you're not programming this radio on this computer with anybody's software. So now you know a little more about it. That may help get you started and get you to where you can enjoy your radio. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.